Hello everyone and welcome back to another video and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to start a YouTube automation channel but we've already gone over how to choose a niche, how to research topics and how to create the video and how to optimize the video so the very last step I'm going to be going over is how to publish and market your YouTube video so let's get started. Here I'm in my YouTube studio I'm going to be going over the exact steps that I do when it comes to publishing a video. So here on YouTube studio as simple as it sounds you're going to want to click this upper right hand corner button where it says create then click on upload videos and then you're simply just going to take your video and drag and drop it and for the sake of example purposes I'm going to pretend that this video has a thumbnail an optimized title and an optimized description. So take the video and drag and drop it. There you go. Now it's uploading. So again, we're going to pretend that the video is already optimized. Title's already ready. Description's already ready. I copy and paste that in. The thumbnail's ready. I upload that thumbnail. All of that's applied. I do add my videos to relevant playlists. Okay. This is a thing that people don't often do, but I do recommend playlists. Playlists help a lot. No, it's not made for kids. There's no paid promotion. Allow automatic chapters when available and eligible. Yes, I keep that open. Tags, as I said before in the previous video, I don't tag my videos. The video language, the video location, usually that's set up by upload defaults to English and United States. And the how-to style is also set up. So afterwards, I just click on next. Now, when it comes to setting up the monetization, I do turn it on. Of course, you know, we want to make money with YouTube automation, right? And I do allow ads during the video. And when I manage the mid-roll ads, I click this button here. And what I'm doing is that I'm adding an ad every single minute. So this is what I do on my Faces YouTube automation videos. I do add an ad every single minute. It's very rare that I actually have people complain because my interpretation of this is that every single ad in this video, it's not gonna be shown to every single viewer. Like when a person watches my YouTube videos, they're not gonna be hit with seven ads, right? It just allows YouTube to know where do you want ads placed? Maybe only three out of these eight ads are gonna be uh, shown. Maybe only four out of these eight ads are gonna be shown. Now, I'm not exactly sure how this works, but my thought process is that the more ads I put in the video, the more money I should potentially make. But it also allows, you know, if we're creating these videos, we're spending money on them or we're spending time on them, potentially should mean more revenue when it comes to actually getting revenue off your videos, right? So an ad every minute is what I do. So we're just gonna click on continue, pretend I put an ad every single time, click on next. Now here is what I do next. When it comes to adding an end screen, I usually import from a video. I choose a random end screen. Let's pretend this one here. It's not wrong to do best for viewer. So by default, people usually do best for viewer. I don't do most recent uploads because sometimes your most recent upload isn't relevant at all to your video. But the most effective end screen is a video that you actually manually choose. So you would click on video and then click this edit button and actually choose a video that you think your audience would want to watch. And I normally only give them one option, but it's got to be like tied in, you know, it's got to be a video that they would actually want to watch next. So let's pretend that it's this video and then that's what I would do. And then I have my subscription icon here. It may be a thing to actually not even put their subscription icon and just leave it as the video. But either or it's up to you. One over the other isn't a wrong or right answer. It's just your preference. So Afterwards, I click on save and then click on next. And then you gotta make sure that your video is eligible. Click on next, visibility. I usually leave it as unlisted until the entire video is processed. So we're gonna click on save. And afterwards, within a couple of seconds, this video is gonna be processed and ready to upload. So I usually leave all my videos as unlisted. But now, what do you actually do when your video is published? So when it comes to the first thing that you do, what I'll normally do is I'll get the shareable link and I'll open up my channel. And so I'll go to my community tab and then I'll also schedule my community board post to kind of promote my video. So what I'll do is that I have the link here, right? And at the end, I'll, I'll say, watch this video to grow your YouTube channel. And then at the top, I'll actually get the title of the video. Title of the video. So going back to our video, right? Let's pretend that I have this scheduled for tomorrow at, oh, let's do 6 a.m. Okay, make it simple. This video is scheduled for tomorrow at 6 a.m. It's going to be published at July 31st, tomorrow at 6 a.m. The community board post can also be scheduled. And I usually do this 15 minutes after the video gets published. So I'll schedule this video or I'll schedule this con board for 6.15 a.m. And so I have the title of the video. I have the video linked twice and then I have the call to action. What I'll normally add is I'll click on the image button and then I'll add a GIF, a nice catchy GIF that gets people to kind of be attracted to this community board post. And sometimes that GIF can just be something random that you think people would kind of resonate with. So I might do a, a rocket ship GIF or I might do a, a funny GIF of SpongeBob, for example, but a random GIF is what I find to kind of help. What I have also found is that adding your thumbnail here, it's not the most ideal because it cuts off your thumbnail. 
But adding some sort of jipper image, I do recommend that. So I have my video on a Comboard post that's gonna promote it 15 minutes after it gets published. Remember how I talked about adding your video to a playlist? Here's how playlist should work. When you click on playlist, and this is our playlist here, right? So we're gonna click on the edit button. And how I'm gonna organize the playlist is that I'm gonna add that video below a video that I think people would want to watch beforehand. So if this is my new video over here that you see, the video on top should be an organic video because after people watch this video, they're gonna watch this video next. That's kind of like the trick. It works from a top to down uh, order of preference. And then, so I have my video on a com board. I have my video on a playlist. The next thing that I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna click the video that I think people would wanna watch prior to watching this video. So stay along with me, okay? I'm gonna click on this video and then let's pretend that people want to watch this People, it would make sense that people watch this video prior to them watching this, this video, which is your new video upload, right? The way you do it is that you'll add a pinned comment that links to this new video as well, right? Because what you're trying to do is you're trying to drive as much traffic as possible to that video within the first 48 hours. It makes sense that people watch this video and then they watch this video. You'll make a comment so you'll actually get the link for this video here. Get shareable link. And then you'll just add a comment, um, watch this video next, something like that, and add the pinned comment. Okay, so you'll comment on it and then you'll pin the comment. So right now I already have a pinned comment leading to my free workshop to go viral on YouTube. So that's what I have pinned. But if you don't have any other CTA or place to kind of funnel your traffic, then lead them to another video. So I'll add a pinned comment leading to that video. And I'll also go into the description and add the link to that new video here as well so that now you have two places here on this YouTube video, the pinned comment and the description leading to your new video. So to kind of summarize so far what we've done, right? I'm not done with the video yet. You have a community board post that's gonna promote the video. You have a pinned comment that's gonna funnel traffic to that video. And you have that video in the link of a description that's also gonna try and drive traffic to that video. That's three different areas. Now, what else are you gonna do? So the last thing that you can do is that you can actually take other videos that you think people are currently watching, are preferably organic videos. Take those videos and change the end screens to them to point at this video here, right? So let's pretend that after watching any of these videos that you see here that are public, you would change the end screen to point at this newer video here. So because again, the idea is that you wanna drive as much traffic as possible to that newer video. The good thing though is that TubeBuddy actually has a mass end screen changer. So if you install TubeBuddy and you get the legend plan, you could actually change the end screens in all your videos and have them point to your new video. So TubeBuddy is an awesome tool. I definitely recommend it. If you wanna sign up, there is a link down below in the description and you can use my code VVPBuddy to get 20% off your plan. So we've converted your video, we've added a pinned comment to it, we've added it in the description, and we've actually added a bunch of end screens to the point that the video, that's what I usually interpret as quote unquote marketing your video. So when it comes to marketing your video, one of the things I want you to think about is the concept of scalable marketing. A lot of the times students or people I come across, they're doing a lot to market their videos. They're posting on niche related Facebook groups. They're contacting other community boards of other channels. And what I want you to think about is actually how scalable is that? Is that something you wanna be doing six months from now, reaching out to people to post your videos on their community board posts? Is that something you're gonna be wanting to do one year from now? Do you wanna be joining relevant Facebook groups and posting your videos on there just to get traction. All of that, I don't really feel is organic. So with that being said, I want to make it clear to you that thanks to TubeBuddy, I can point all my videos to this new video at the click of a button. I don't mind changing comments or the descriptions of videos and having the point of this video. I don't mind posting on my own community board posts, but when it comes to doing this other miscellaneous stuff that I really don't feel is scalable, that's what I want you to think of. So when it comes to community board posts on other channels, other Facebook related niche groups, other forums where it's niche related and you wanna post your videos on there, our relevant Reddit threads. All of that is great. It's going the extra mile. But again, just think about what do you wanna be doing one year from now? Is that something you're gonna be doing? Or are you just doing that initially just to gain traction? All of that's fine, honestly. But just think again about the concept of scalable marketing. You don't wanna be posting on Facebook groups every single time you post a video 
you know, it's going to get tiresome and you don't always want to be going out of your way just to get that initial traction. But if you're doing initially to gain initial traction in your channel, that's definitely a good strategy. And once you have your own audience, you won't have to go so hard on your marketing. You can just post videos that your audience wants to watch. But ultimately, that sums up what I would do when it comes to launching a, an entire YouTube automation channel. So once you publish your video, you're pretty much set and done, right? But what's next? I've been publishing every day on one of my own YouTube channels where I post the results in this video here. You'd be amazed to see what the results of posting every single day for 365 days is. Go check out this video next.